We're so pleased to be introducing a tradition of bestowing an award to a deserving DEI alum at our gala. This year, we're recognizing a special young man who I've had the pleasure of knowing since his senior year in high school, Cesar Gonzalez. In fact, I have a video of him from back then. Caesar, please join me up here. This young man was selected for this award as he presents exemplary wisdom, integrity, professionalism, and generosity. As a former VEI student, he was highly engaged in learning about business, he was completely committed to becoming the best entrepreneur in the virtual world that he could possibly be, and devoted to supporting those other members on his team. The leadership that Caesar provided to others at Shafter High School nearly 20 years ago still resounds across the campus today. Just recently, Shafter received the appointment of a brand new principal, and I had the pleasure of telling the principal about this award for Caesar. He just looked at me and kind of chuckled and said, I feel like I know Caesar because the staff continues to tell the stories about a young man named Caesar Gonzalez as they inspire and motivate their students at that campus today. Caesar was an impactful leader as a student, and his legacy continues at Shafter High School even today. It is fitting that this award be named after Joe Delaney who's been a fierce advocate of VEI since its inception almost 20 years ago. Joe has been a mentor, a friend, and a coach to hundreds of VEI students during the program and throughout their growth toward adulthood. Joe is also single-handedly responsible for launching, growing, and sustaining VEI's partnership with Deloitte. Joe, Please join me as we present the Joseph P. Delaney Award. It is with great pride and great joy that I present this award for the alumni to follow Caesar in the wonderful VEI program named after me. I, and I'm still alive. And I parenthetically have to add one more thing. This has to be the first time a Notre Dame man has given an award to a USC graduate. <laughs> go Irish, go Trojans. Caesar, you embody the character and professional of the essence of what this award is about. And your success as a business leader, your commitment in giving back to the community and passion providing young people and an opportunity to fulfill their, their potential. Your professional achievement exemplifies what we hope VE students will attain in their journey through life. And please know, VE students in this audience, we are here for you, for life. We are a life sentence for you. 
in the most positive way could ever be expressed. And my relationship with Caesar and so many of my VE students from New York and so many of the other Deloitte volunteers exemplifies that. Caesar, we congratulate you on your hard work that led you from the VE classroom in Chatner High School to the business world and a life beyond your horizons as a high school student. I ask all of us to rise and recognize this wonderful young man. God bless you, Caesar. Thank you. Joe, Dean, thank you so much. Um, I'll play the video again if that'll get people's attention. Um, you know, this has been a, a great honor for me. I remember when I was in high school, I got a lot of awards because I did things like virtual enterprise. And then you become an adult and you stop getting awards. So it's been a number of years before I've, I've had an award like this and just standing up here listening to the way the introduction went, um, I, you almost don't want to believe those things about yourself because it sounds really good and, and I don't think about myself that way. Um, but it, it, it's, a, it's amazing and the reason I'm here is because of the people to my right, they made it all possible. Uh, virtual enterprises, when I was participating in the program, we were guinea pigs. This was back in 2000, my junior year of high school. And I still remember hearing about the program and signing up. And I didn't realize it at the time, but it was something that was going to differentiate me when I was applying for college. I remember the interview with the recruiter from USC. She couldn't believe that uh, there was a program like this that existed. And I'm sure she had interviewed a number of students before me that day that had gone to private schools in some of the best communities in California. And here I was, this, this kid from the Central Valley who had done something that she'd never even heard of, which, which I thought was uh, amazing and it gave me a lot of confidence in that interview. I ultimately went to USC and graduated uh, with a business degree. I'm sitting at a table with Usha's parents, that 13-year-old that some of us are gonna work for someday. And what she said uh, reminded me of a conversation I had with my mother when I told her I was getting this award uh, earlier this week. And she said that she noticed a change in me from participating in virtual enterprises. A lot of what these students have to do is what I'm doing now, stand up in front of a group of people that are old, well, not this group, I'm... I'm <laughs> for the students, stand up in front of a bunch of adults and you're a, uh, 13 year old, I didn't know they did the program that young now, but we were high school kids and you get nervous. And she's, she's got confidence now. It probably is gonna stay with her for the rest of her life. And that is, that's what virtual enterprise is doing, part of what it's doing. Another uh, thing I realized from my experience was it brought me together with a group of, of, of my peers, even at a small school like the one I went to, they were very different. I, I ran track, I actually ran track at USC, and I hung out with the, the athletes, and I was smart for, for my school, and so I, was, I hung out with the people who were in the honors classes and AP classes. I didn't hang out with the kids who were working on coding uh, in their basements or wherever they were doing this, or any of the students who ended up doing virtual enterprises. And it was, uh, it was a great experience. I, I met, met, met some friends that I would have otherwise not met. We all learned to work together. And just to give you a sample of what this group was like, there were students who were, were writing code. 
I, I was telling Dean that if we were smart, we would have created one of these um, companies like Squarespace because it didn't exist back then. We were literally, we had a couple of um, kids, that were students that were very good at coding. They were creating the website from the ground up. We had a couple of girls who were essentially ESL students. They predominantly spoke Spanish, but had an interest in marketing. They were doing our marketing. And through that, they were learning English. I'm bilingual and I, I was the CEO of the company and it was, it was, I was working with them. And I, I remember them learning new words in English as we were going through this program together. We had Ju Chin Chow who ended up going to UCLA, who was our accountant. And she is, is now a CPA. And, and there I was, uh, the leader of this pack, this ragtag group, group of, of students, and the business uh, plan competitions. Uh, it was through that business plan competition that I got an internship. I didn't even know what an internship was. I got an internship with State Farm, and it led to another internship with an oil company, and then an internship with UBS, and then an internship with uh, the Department of Defense, and so on and so forth, and I ended up on Wall Street, uh, working in New York City. And you guys are all here because you have some relationship with virtual enterprises, whatever it is, keep it going. It's an amazing program. It'll change lives. I'm, I'm still the guinea pig. I'm the first recipient of this award. I'm not going to be the best one. You're going to have people here in a few years who are started, you know, tech startups that are worth hundreds of millions of dollars and um, that you'll probably know about someday. You know, this is just the beginning, Joe. It's, it's always going to have your name. Um, and let it be known for the record that it was given first to a USC alum. <laughs>